and his allies. A new court filing sheds light on what's been going on between Willis and Wade. Atlanta News first political reporter Doug Reardon breaks it down. Facing a court order deadline, District Attorney Fonnie Willis finally responded to shocking allegations of an improper relationship with her top election and diamond prosecutor. Here's three key takeaways from the 176 page filing. One, Willis admitted to the relationship. In the opening pages of her response, Willis said her romantic partnership with Nathan Wade began after his hiring in November 2021, and she violated no state or local laws when bringing him onto the team. Quote, any personal relationship among members of the prosecution team does not amount to a disqualifying conflict of interest, Willis writes. Two, Willis says she did not benefit financially from Wade's hiring. Wade was paid almost $600,000 since 2021 for his work on the case. All the while, he and Willis took vacations and cruises together as proven in Wade's financial documents. But Willis said the two never shared a bank account or a home, and they split expenses, quote, relatively evenly when together. Three, the attorney who made the allegations public and claimed Wade wasn't qualified to prosecute the case once praised him highly. Ashley Merchant, a respected Georgia attorney for former Trump campaign staffer and indictment defendant Michael Roman, filed the initial allegations last month and made them public. She claimed Wade was unqualified to take on the case, lacking key experience as a prosecutor. But in her response, Willis showed pictures of Merchant at an event supporting Wade for a 2016 judgeship position, even wearing a shirt with his name on it. In old statements and attached Facebook posts, Merchant calls Wade ethical, fair and impartial, and experienced in, quote, every area of the law. Doug Reardon, Atlanta News First. Well, Willis also noted that attorneys for Trump co-defendant Jenna Ellis, who took a plea deal last year, were a married couple. Attorneys for defendant Kenneth Chesborough and defendant Ray Smith are also dating. Chesborough will have to testify, testify against Smith and the remaining co-defendants. Willis says that that's not a conflict of interest, neither is her relationship with Wade. Now, Doug's report is 